Hi, this is Bibi. It's about 4.30 Wednesday morning, 1st February. I turned on my um, camera because I think I was getting a little bit worried. Because I feel like sometimes um, they come into my home. And they, I don't know if they're injecting anything into me. I know this sounds like really this is something so bizarre, so weird. But if I put my mask on, I can smell it like it just comes out of me. It's coming out of me. Like yesterday, I put my, I had my a shirt with, my, with a collar. And I just put it against my mouth and I was breathing into it. Um, or breathing out of it, you know, breathing into it through my mouth as I was watching TV. And it became so hot, almost it burned my finger. Whatever is going on inside me is, is, is just heating up the body like really hot, 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 hot. Which means it's, I'm drying out on the inside. I'm almost uh, 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 becoming um, dehydrated to a, to a really um, an alarming extent. I'm becoming dehydrated. I've noticed there are crates and tunnels on the top of my head as well. Which means it's almost like it's, it's sinking in. There's like, there's like crates and tunnels at the top of my head where it's sore to the touch. It literally, if I touch it, it's sore to the touch. Whoever is doing this to me has made my life a miserable experience. They want me dead and I don't know why. It's for something they stole already. Or they want me to say, well, I give it to them freely and I love them and they're so beautiful and I wish them well and I want to kiss their ass and kiss their cunt. You know, this is what they want. And it's got to be somebody related to my fucking um, stepmother's the person who sold my, my fucking house. My father's house. My stepmother, obviously, she died. She didn't know her family members were like this. She had no idea they were like this. Whatever they do, whoever they do, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money and it's making them go hog wild and hog crazy because they have money. They're in possession of the money and they have nothing else to do all day long. So they go in pursuit of every ugly device, I mean, every ugly vice and desire that they ever could, could, like they're reaching into the galaxy for the most inhumane thing, the most bizarre thing to do. They're living out some weird ass fucking fantasy. I am one of those people who live out like, like, like uh, you know, have a devil may care attitude. If it's weird and bizarre, like Dr. Wayne Dyer, you do, you do it for the experience, right? Just to see what will happen. So it's like they, they now can feel like they can afford it. So they're just going all over and just doing all kinds of crazy shit. Almost like, in a way, like they're fucking mocking me. Well, they're living, they're fond of saying they're living my life. They're having my fun. They're living life at, you know, at, 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 a, at a rate where it's, it's, it's just, they're just happy. Like, they're just waiting for me to die so I don't come and fight for my shit. Maybe they even have life insurance out on me because I have a feeling some, <coughs> <coughs> some family member is actually related to me in some obscure way. <coughs> Meaning it's generations <coughs> since I don't have any brothers and sisters <coughs> it's going to have to be something on my mother's side this related to me Quit leaves one brother <coughs> she has one brother alive he has two kids <coughs> and their kids and their wives so I don't know what happened there So what, what happened here? I don't know. So the thing is, <coughs> these people are not the nicest people. Like they're ugly minded. They're stupid. They're just like with, with, with when it comes to the money, they're like on, on steroids. I told you I sing some songs. I have a, a unique talent. 
I can sit down in front of you <coughs> and make up a whole song where it comes out of my mouth just like that. It's nothing spectacular, but I can just sit down and make up a whole song. I don't, want, I don't play any instruments or anything like that. But right up, if I'm happy, I can make up a whole song in front of you. It's a unique talent. That'll make people laugh, make people, you know, it, 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 I can make up like in any area, in, in any, um, involving any area of life. Humor, crude humor, <coughs> romance, western, however, I can make it up. <coughs> I can make it up and... I have a unique talent. And these, whoever these people are that might be related to my, to, to my cousin, they want the songs. Because I, I told you before, I woke up singing songs and it sounded really good. Which means they're recording me. They're just messing with me. Like, this technology, whatever it is, I don't know if it's Elon Musk, I don't know whose technology this is. It's causing them to link themselves to your brain. It's called neural linking. It's supposed to be linked to a database, but somehow they replicate, like each chip might be different, or the data is different on each chip, and there's somehow people who are getting hold. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're linking themselves to you. Maybe using a common database. I'm not sure. I don't know how true this is, which means... There's got to be some fucking microchip in my head. If this is if this is the way it's really happening, because I saw, um, according to Elon Musk, the tests have, have already gone on the way, and this is a fucking reality base, not woo woo or hearsay. I saw it on YouTube. He was talking about it. The the, the trials are already underway. These people are hacking. They're seeing schematics. They're replicating these schematics. They're making their own chips. However crude way, maybe using a 3D printer. A, a, a 3D printer would replicate these chips. So I don't know what they're doing here, whatever the thing might be, but 3D printer might be something they're using. So they, they hack in, they see the schematics, they copy it, and they come up with their own crude formula or their own crude schematic, and they put it together. If, if that's the case. It's, it's like a series of different technologies they put together. Behind, you see it behind the cat's eyes. Now, this sounds really far-fetched, but this is a possibility. If you can see an image on a screen, projected on a screen, in front that an animal is seeing, which means you're seeing from behind its eyes, right? This was 2016, this has been, this is seven years ago. By now it's perfected. You may not be able to see it 100% clear, but you're just seeing it. That's a cat, a human being is different. They've probably used a lot of people as experiments to, be, to perfect it. Which means they have to implant some chip in your head. Some nano chip, microchip, whatever the fuck they call it. Which means somebody had to touch your head somewhere along the line. This is not psychics uh, 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 messing with your head. Otherwise, all these other things wouldn't come into play. Spraying you, microwaving you, doing all the... What would they do that for? Psychics can remotely pick up your thoughts, your pictures... They get them in their own heads. It's real psychics, this is how they do it. Fake psychics are looking for technology. They are looking for technology and they're looking for, to see what kind of treasures you have that you don't know about. Or you may know about, but nobody else knows about, so they whack you and they take your shit. Or what kind of hidden <coughs> talent you have. Or what do you know? They would even use you for what they call these NDE or these near-death experiences. But let's let's do something. Hook on to the person. I mean, this is this is this is this is how it would go. Hook on to the person as the person is dying. They're seeing 
well, up to how far they were allowed to see. Heaven or hell or angels or demons. Or just absolutely nothing. <coughs> that in itself would have a cult following. A group of people who would become obsessed with it. They would become obsessed with seeing what happens when you die. They don't know if they're seeing their own fears realized. Because it's like they're trying to outsmart the creator and they can't do it. Because that's a little ambitious. In fact, that's very ambitious. I think it's a sacrilege. It's not, not only that they're killing the person, if the person survives, they survive. If they don't, they don't. They're hoping that the person don't survive. Because it's their experience now, not the person's. Because if you notice, if you go on YouTube and you type in near-death experiences, you will see a lot of them out there as recent. They will come in clusters, seven months, five months. There'll be a little space, but they'll come in clusters. People would pay for that. Rich people would pay for that experience. Some people will become ex uh, uh, um, obsessed with it. When they can't pay the people anymore, they will try to do it themselves. And they will kill the person. This is a dangerous game these people are playing. They will cause people to die for, 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 for something trivial, for a person's fantasy, for a person's obsession. And these people will not take the responsibility The, these people will not take the responsibility for it. So whatever this is, they have to look at this from all around. These are not good people. These are not kind people. These are people who just are obsessed with this themselves and they're making a buck at it while they're doing it. Now, what was getting back to, again, listen carefully. If you can see through the cat's eyes and what he was looking at, you know, you can see, she was passing before, you could see on the screen, someplace else, not directly, like she was, this was the cat, she was standing in front of him passing and then you could see the shadow was, you know, her shadow was reflected on the screen. The screen was someplace else. <coughs> now if they do that to a human and they perfect it, they're seeing that on the screen. Now if you have vivid imagination, and they mess with certain parts of your brain, triggering memories, thoughts, images, pictures, emotions. Which emotions would, would make the, the, the picture clearer, would make the vision clearer, would make the image clearer. What if, you, if, if it's so powerful that you can actually see it on a screen? You can actually see what they're seeing on a screen, like your memory being projected on a screen. Because this, this <coughs> what, it, what it's picking up, it's actually picking it up. Because this is, you close your eyes and you see that, that's what's in front of you. You close your eyes and you see it. Remember, this is behind, this is, this is planted in your head. It's behind your eyes or somewhere behind, somewhere in your head. It's not in front of your, your, your eyelids. It's behind. So if you have clear vision, they should be able to see that as well. So it's a, a series of technologies that they put together. <coughs> carefully crafting this. I have to say, it's sort of like a genius. But a very de de devious genius. Who needs to get caught. And it, they need to go about turning these things off. I don't know how many of them are out there. They're making them and they're selling them to people as well. Like it's a whole, it's a series of things they have. Like a kit almost. And they sell it. But anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. And I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm tired of running. Almost like I'm trying to outrun. And I can't because this man... Whoever is attacking me, and I know who he is, is a man ha hacking me all day long. He won't stop. I work online, and that's where he got me. This is where they've crippled my, 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 uh, my goings and comings. They've crippled me financially. 
he attacked my business and he's refusing to stop because he sees that nobody is helping and whatever it is is making people more and more not wanting to help people the government needs to make an admission that this is a problem they need to see that this is a problem this is a real problem that's happening here it's a real problem